Yeah, when people come here, they're literally gobsmacked. It's not like any other home. We have koalas, wallabies, sometimes wombat, everything running around here. Because we just don't have the 24-hour wildlife rehabilitation and rescue centre for Victoria. Um, our kitchen very rarely makes food for humans these days, unfortunately. But they're making koala porridge and possum formula and duckling food and bottles for little wombat babies as well. It's quite difficult emotionally because you do come across a lot of cruelty cases and you come across a lot of sadness of, you know, orphaned animals that wander around for days looking for a mum like this little one has here and um, they're just exhausted when they come in. It's so sad for them. And they're sad because they've lost their mum. They don't know what's going on. The average person just has no idea how many animals get injured on a daily basis and they think we get paid for what we're doing, which we don't. And they're shocked at the amount of animals that we have in our care. Yeah, they're just, they're so surprised. At any point in time, we sit in around $26,000 worth of debt. It's, it's never ending and so many animals are dying, so many animals are coming into care. And if we want to save our precious wildlife, we've actually got to do something and we need to do it now. I love our wildlife. There's nothing like it in the world. If my grandkids never got to see a koala, I you know, if there was none left in the wild, I'd be devastated. And I, I really fought to make sure that that doesn't happen. So it's always been my dream to start up a 24 hour wildlife rescue and rehab centre. We've got lots of big hearts and willing hands here, but we need a proper facility, a dedicated 24 hour emergency centre where animals like this can get the treatment they need. Your vote can help to make that happen. Vote for Animalia Wildlife Shelter.